going to talk about polyclonal gammopathy. Recognizing the distinction between a problem and a diagnosis can be helpful here. If we say a patient has a polyclonal gammopathy, we've identified a problem but not a diagnosis. If we break it down, gammopathy means abnormal immunoglobulin level. When it's further designated as polyclonal, what that means is the abnormal immunoglobulin level is made up of multiple different types of immunoglobulins which are not identical to each other. By contrast, a monoclonal gammopathy, classically monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance or MGUS, describes a situation in which that immunoglobulin that's abnormal is monoclonal immunoglobulin, meaning all of those immunoglobulins are identical copies of each other. So we see monoclonal gammopathies in MGUS, in multiple myeloma, in other plasma cell neoplasms. But when an abnormal immunoglobulin level has been found to be polyclonal, what that means is that those immunoglobulins are increased in response to something else going on. So it's a secondary problem. Now, most often immunoglobulins will be elevated due to, it can be due to infection or an inflammatory response. And that's why you don't see us talking about it that much in medicine, because if we identify a polyclonal gammopathy, we check your protein level, it's elevated. We check your immunoglobulin levels, they're elevated, but they're all normal. They're just increased. What that tells us is the immune system is revved up. And so then what we need to do next is go looking for the underlying diagnosis that is triggering this laboratory problem.